What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 45 minute arms and abs workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. Welcome to your 45 minute arms and abs workout. We're gonna be focusing on the biceps, the triceps, and the shoulders today. So make sure you have your dumbbells around you. I've got 10, 15, 20, and 25 pound dumbbells today. Also my water and my sweat towel. And you will see the bench here today. It'll be just for one exercise. I'll show you how to use it for a couple others if you would like. But the one exercise I'm gonna use it for is dips. So if you have something around you that you can do dips from, grab it. If you don't, we're just gonna do them on the mat just like we normally do in our bridge position, just pushing those elbows back, okay? So make sure before we get started, you have clicked subscribe right below this video and it says in the red button subscribed so we can help these videos get out to more people all over the world and give the video a thumbs up to lock it in that you are done when you finish this workout, okay? So right now, give me a thumbs up here and we're gonna rock into open arm swings. Thumbs are facing the ceiling. Let's get right into our warm up. In three, two, one, here we go. Open, cross. Keep your thumbs facing the ceiling. And really reach back with your fingertips. Good. Anyone else feeling this soreness up top a little bit? We're gonna try and ease it out. Let's go four, three, two, one. Take just the left arm, cross and big open, cross. So let your torso rotate here as you twist over and big open backwards. Four, three, two, one. Same thing with the right arm, big cross, big open. Good. Very excited for you to be here today. We've got a 15 exercise workout and then a three minute freestyle burnout at the end. Okay, two, one, great job. Backward circles. So we've got 15 exercises to rock through. Be paying attention to the exercise for your biceps that challenges you the most, your triceps, and your abs, because at the end of this workout, go ahead and switch directions. You will have the opportunity to freestyle, burn it out with those three moves, okay? Four, three, two, one, good. Let's reach over and over. And I'll tell you what the move is targeting throughout the workout so you can make sure, number one, that you're doing it right, but number two, that you think about, okay, this exercise is really challenging me, or this exercise is one that I really like, one that I wanna work on. I challenge you not to go for the comfortable exercise for your burnout, but the one that works you the best. Okay, two, one, come back into the middle. Let's walk it out to a plank position. Okay, pull it down, pull your belly button in, squeeze your glutes. There you go, pike it up. Push your chest back, and let's go back to the pike and the plank. Good job, pull the belly button in, squeeze it. And lift it up, push back for some shoulder mobility. And one more, come down to the plank. There you go, walk it back in. You're doing great. Pull your fingertips back to your elbows here. Okay, throughout the whole workout today, we have two rounds of 45 seconds per move. I want you to challenge yourself to step it up in round two in some way. Okay, switch arms. Whether that is a heavier weight, it's more reps, it's keeping the tension a little bit more so not resting so much at the top or the bottom. In some way, for every round two, I want you to step it up, okay? So, first exercise, we're gonna go alternating bicep curls. Hands are down by your side, you're twisting up and up, okay? Grab the dumbbells that challenge you, and we'll go together in five seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Curl left, back down, and right. Good job. We'll have 15 second rest periods in between, and we're working in circuit style. So we'll go a bicep move here, tricep move next, ab move right after that. In the 15 seconds, if you wanna jog it out, you can. If you wanna keep rocking with this exercise, you can. Okay, make sure you have time to switch weights. Your next move is gonna be tricep overhead extensions with two dumbbells. There you go. Seven, six, four, three, two, one, rest. 
Good. Now, two dumbbells, medium to light weight, okay? You're gonna go right up top over here. Click your dumbbells together, taking it right behind your head and up. Okay, let's go together in two, one. Here we go, pull the core in. Here we go. Bend and straighten. And if this is too much, rock the weight down to a lower weight. Great job. Make sure your core stays tight so you're not arching here. Pull it in, bend your knees just a little bit. Good job, give me eight seconds and then we go bicycles. Great job, two, one, and rest. All right, down to the floor, bicycles. Okay, I want these to be nice and slow. So we've got one, two. Crunch your shoulder blades off the floor, support your head. Let's go in two, one, here we go. Push, 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 push. Keep this pace with me. Go straight legs out front. Push, push. Cross, cross. And I want both your elbows pointing in opposite directions, so make sure you're not here. You're nice and open. That's it, good job. Twist. Twist, twist. That's it, 10 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, crunch up, seven. Good, let's go, three, two, one. Beautiful, back up, alternating curls. All right, we go in 10 seconds, jog if you'd like. Here we go, six. Five, four, alternating curls in three, two, one, let's go. Awesome, control up and down, squeeze, lower slowly. I want the last couple reps of these 45 to be a real pull for you, a real challenge. Good, tight core. Good, 15 seconds, come on. That's it, pull, pull, pull. Seven. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. All right, overhead tricep extension. Two dumbbells, if two dumbbells isn't comfortable for your elbows, you can just do one. Okay, or rock it down to a lighter weight. Wherever you're at, three, two, one, let's go. Bend, push. Keep your elbows right there. Push, 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 let's go. Beautiful, elbows stay there. Your triceps job is to extend or straighten that elbow. Feel it stretch. Feel it work. There you go. 15 seconds. 15. 14. That's it. That's it. Come on. Go seven. Perfect. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Great job. Back down for your bicycles. 15 seconds. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, hands support the head. Crunch, let's go. Cross, cross. Pull your ribs in, lift your shoulder blades up, twist. Fifteen seconds down. Crunch a little higher. Good, last 15 right here. Go, pull higher. With your shoulder blades, not your head. Eight. Five. Three, two, 
One and breathe. 30 seconds rest, grab some water. Amazing job, feel free to jog in place. We're gonna isolate the biceps for your next round, okay? First round, you've got right arm hammer curl, okay? So you're gonna go hammer curl, right arm here. You're going here, and side crunch, okay? Eight seconds, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, hammer curl, meaning it stays facing your side. When you come down, you go down with it, okay? Down towards the dumbbell side. Let's go in two, one, here we go. One curl, crunch down, pull up with this side of your core. Separate your legs a little if you need to. Feel the stretch and the squeeze. Good, your spine gets right back to neutral. 15 seconds. Good, seven, six, three, two, one, and rest. Good job, same thing on the other side. Okay, switch it over to the other arm. When you sink down, I want you to think of gliding your dumbbell down your leg, feeling the stretch here, and contracting so you think ribs back over to hips. Okay, two, one, let's go. Curl, sink down, stretch, and squeeze back over. Good, crunch, squeeze. Good job. Make sure when you go down, I just felt myself do it, this is why I'm saying it, you don't shift away, okay? This takes away from the core engagement. This is just shifting momentum over this foot or your weight over this foot. So keep your spine here. Rotate your shoulders down, pull. Don't shift the hips, just the shoulders. Good. Eight, seven. Two, one, great job. Now grab your light dumbbell. We're gonna go Russian twist. Okay, three to the right, three to the left. So you're starting in the middle. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, okay? Let's go in two, one, here we go. Heels down if you need to. Good, three and three. Good job. 15 seconds. By the way, you don't have to use a dumbbell here. You can also just tap fingertips to the floor. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job, come on up. We've got that left arm curl. All right, if you can go up and wait, let's go. Okay, or sorry, we did right arm first last round, right? Right arm first, okay? Curl here, cross down, squeeze back up, let's go. Great job, crunch, squeeze. And we could involve a knee drive here too, so we could go here, squeeze. You can do that if you want. Stretch, squeeze, good job. 10, nine, six, five, three, Two, one, and rest. Good job. Other hand. All right, switch it over to the left side. Same thing, and then one more round of Russian twist, and we're moving on. Here we go, four, three, two, one. Let's go, curl, reach, squeeze. Good job. Whoops, messed that one up a little bit. <laughs> That's okay. Go down, crunch up to the middle. Knee drive if you would like, it's not mandatory.
15 seconds, come on. Eight, seven, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. All right, Russian twist, come on back down. You're doing fantastic. Whew. Three to the right, three to the left. All right, heels can stay down. Lift them up if you want a little bit more of a challenge. Ready, let's go. Good, you hear me breathing? I want you to do the same thing. Breathe. Good job. Squeeze over. Same thing, squeeze over and use this other side to pull back to neutral. There's a reason these two exercises are linked together today. Obliques, they work to crunch and they work to return back to normal. Four, three, two, one, and beautiful work. Go ahead and grab some water. Second circuit done. Two rounds of our first two circuits. Amazing work. Grab water. This next one is where your dips are going to come in. So if you would like to use a bench, you can pull it in now. All right. So dips is your first move. And then we've got two core moves. Okay. So if you have a bench, you can have a seat up on top. All right. We'll go in 15 seconds. Hands are the same width apart as your shoulders. Okay, they're right under your shoulders. Hips sink down. Make sure you're not sinking forward, okay? If you're on the floor, you're right here. Okay, two, one, let's go. Floor or bench, wherever you're at. And the further your feet are out from the bench, the tougher this will be. Good job. 15 seconds left. Good, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. You've got leg raises in a V-sit, okay? So I want you to come to your elbows, okay? You're going here, down, and up. Now if you need to modify this, Come up higher, down and up, or just do one leg, okay? Ready, two, one, let's go. Pull down and up. Great job, like I said, modification, go one leg here. Okay, you're still engaging lower abs really well. 30, I mean 15 seconds, sorry. We're going when you see 27, 30. <laughs> Eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Good, now lay it all the way on your back. And we are gonna do one leg here. Single leg, drop, toe touches. Okay, so we're up top here. Drop one, toe touch, drop, Toe touch. Ready? Two, one, let's go. And if you can, grab a dumbbell and add it in here. Okay? So you're crunching here. Great job. Almost there, 13, 12, 8, 7, 2, 1, good. Whew. All right, we're back to our dips on the ground, on the bench. And if you're doing it on the bench, feet can vary all the way from right under your knees to out front here, okay? 
The most advanced option would be to put your feet up on something that is equal height to this bench and then sink your butt down in between the two, okay? Let's go. Good job. Think about your triceps again. The function of this move is triceps. So you're bending down to lengthen the tricep. You're coming up to straighten it. Let's go. Nine, eight. Good. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job. All right, leg drops. Another way you can do this is on your bench. Okay, you can hold here. All right, drop it down and up. Ready? Let's go. Modification, just one leg drops and you come up. Good job, 20 seconds. Come on, 12, 11. Almost there, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew, great job, single leg toe touches. I'm gonna move this out of the way again. All right, one leg up, reach it up to the toes with a dumbbell if you can. Ready? Let's go. Keep it right over your chest too. You're putting resistance on your abs. So load that weight right over your abs, not back over your head and swing up. Fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, come on. Don't slow down yet. Six, one more each leg. Three, two, one, and thirty seconds rest. Whew. All right. Circuit number three. Out of the way. Grab some water. You're doing great. All right. What do we have next? Tricep, overhead extension, one dumbbell, one heavy dumbbell, single dumbbell slow curl, and a two leg jackknife and flat crunch. All right. So one dumbbell up top. We're going for that single dumbbell, heavier option if you have it. If not, grab two dumbbells. Okay, you're gonna bend, bend, extend. Are you ready? Let's go together in two. A little pulse at the back. One. Here we go. One, two, up. One, two, up. Now you can also, if you feel okay about it, come here. Okay. Takes the kind of stabilization aspect out of it. So if you feel your back arching a lot, have a seat. This will really help. Good job, 10. Good, five, four, two, one, rest. Now take this one dumbbell. I want you to open your hands up flat like this. Put the dumbbell in the middle. Okay, and think about a serving tray. You're serving it to people and you come right back up to the top. The whole time your hands are flat, okay? Two, one, open it up, serve it to them. Bring it back up to your chest. So make sure you're not curling it in here. That's not how you would hold a tray. Flat. Good. Beautiful. <laughs> I know, this is tough.
Open hands. You've got 12 seconds. Five, four, come on, keep them open. Two, one, rest, good job. All right, two legs. You've got jackknife, so you're meeting up in the middle, and then a flat crutch. All right, so tailbone down on the floor. You're gonna go both arms up, both arms crunch. Okay, two, one, let's go. Good, and if you need to modify, one foot up, and then crunch, tap those fingertips on your calf. Here we go. Good job, come on. You're thinking about driving your tailbone down to the floor. Good, nine, eight, seven. Two, one, and rest. Great job, we're back up. Overhead, tricep extension, jog in place if you would like, grab water. We're going at 19.45. All right, here we go, overhead, in two, one. Get it, get it, come on. One, two, extend. Pull your core in, bend your knees just a little. Yes, come on. Come on, you're strong. Yes, you are. As much as it burns, you're thinking, no, you are. This is why it burns. You're pushing yourself. Come on, 15. Eight, seven. Let's go, let's go. Don't quit, don't give up on yourself. We're right there. Three, two, one, beautiful. All right, serving tray, bicep curls. You're here, 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 here. Okay, we're still getting this crunch, this elbow flexion. It's a little bit of internal rotation, okay? You're doing great. Two, one, let's go. Serving tray curls. Serve it to the people, they don't want it, you bring it back. Or you serve it to the people, they're done. Now you're cleaning off the table. I'm just kidding, I'm just trying to take your mind somewhere else. <laughs> Former uh, waitress, that was my college summer job. <sighs> Anyone else? I liked it, I loved waitressing. That was fun, most of the time. Sometimes people can be crazy, but you know, for the most part, it was fun to work with my friends. Okay, anyways, back to biceps. <sighs> let's go, let's go, seven, six, four, three, two, one, beautiful job. Come on down, jack knives, two legs up, and then a flat crunch. All right, here we go. Let's go in four, three, two, one, and we're up. Tailbone down first, then crunch. Keep your legs straight when you're bringing them up for your jackknife, so it's not here, okay? It's straight from the ground, up, up, up. There you go. Come on, 15. Nine, eight, five. Four, two, one, and 30 seconds rest. Whew. Amazing work. All right, we're moving down. You've got 30 seconds. We're going into curl and so a little bit of uh, combo moves here now. Next two circuits will be combo moves. Okay, so we've got a curl and an Arnold press, two dumbbells. Okay, you're gonna take them from hammer curl style to here, and then up and around and press. Okay, so we'll go together in 10 seconds here. Open face, so supinated grip. Curl up and then lift your elbows. Okay, we go around to the outsides of our head and press. Two, one, let's go here. Curl, 
Lift the elbows up and around, back down. Here you go. Make sure there's a separation from here to here. There you go. We want to keep everything safe. Beautiful. 15 more seconds. Curl, punch it up. That's it. Come on, five seconds. One more round, ready? Two, one, rest. Now we're gonna go lightest dumbbells, okay? Back fly and tricep kick back, okay? Combo move here. So we're hinging. You're gonna go fly, bring it in, angled tricep kick back, okay? Two, one, let's go. Fly it out, squeeze the shoulder blades. Lift the elbows, extend at an angle. There you go. Pinkies high, out back. Great job. 20 seconds. And then we've got an ab combo, core specifically. There we go, five, three, two, one. Dumbbells way out of the way. Okay, here's what we've got. Superman and side mermaid crunch, okay? Watch me, we're gonna go up. Superman, roll it over, side crunch, okay? Or one leg, side crunch. Back to Superman, okay? Two, one, let's go. Superman, and you're alternating sides. Roll all the way over onto your butt. Over. Good job. 20 seconds. Roll over past your hip. So you got hip bone, you keep rolling until you're on your glute. And then go. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Back to your curl and Arnold press. Last round, remember our deal in the beginning? If you can go heavier, round two, you do it. Step it up in some way, round two. Four, three. Let's go. And the good news is, your shoulders should be pretty fresh. Good job. Lots of anterior work there, anterior delt and biceps. And now we move to some posterior delt. Posterior delt and triceps. Here we go, two, one, let's go. There you go, think shoulder blades, squeeze. Make sure you're not, when you start your back flies, crunching your shoulders up to your ears. Keep them down, you're squeezing backwards, not up. Okay, if you find yourself having to shrug to get it started, it's too heavy. Okay, go down a little bit. Long arms, big squeeze. Seven, six, two, one. Yes, great job. Superman, and roll over. Okay, if you are someone who's pregnant right now, a good way to not be on your stomach here would just be bird dog. Okay, you're still getting that low back and glute flexion. 
Okay, two, one, let's go. Superman up, roll over to the glute and up. Good job, keep squeezing. Roll, 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 over the hip and lift. Fifteen, come on, you've got this. Good job, four, three, two, one, and rest, great job. All right, so. We've got 30 seconds rest and here's where you get creative, okay? Three rounds of 30 seconds of a bicep move. I want you to either progress in all three moves or you could do three rounds of three different exercises. Heavy, okay? Challenging, whatever you can do to push yourself each round, okay? Maybe that is a drop set where you start heavy, you go heavy for as long as you can and then you drop down, okay? so. Pick your first bicep exercise. We're going in eight seconds. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do the serving platter. Ready? Let's go. 30 seconds here. Good, you can either do the same thing, three rounds increasing in some way each round or three different bicep moves. We've got curls, hammer curl, and side crunch. Any type of curl. Four, three, two, one, rest. Great job. Round number two, you've got 15 seconds. Okay, if you wanna go with me, I'm gonna go right arm curl and crunch. Five seconds, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Here we go, big curl, down, crunch. Good job, 15 seconds. Eight, seven, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, had to finish that last rep. 15 seconds, step it up one more time. One more round of bicep. If you're going to the other arm with me, let's go. If you're stepping it up, grab those heavier weights. Let's go, two, one, come on. Good job, 15. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Now, triceps. We did three rounds of biceps. Here's your tricep set. Favorite or most challenging tricep exercise. Okay, 15 seconds, we'll go together. You have tricep overhead extensions. You've got your fly and kickback. You've got dips. You've got two dumbbell overhead extensions. Okay, I'm gonna go dips. Pick where you wanna go. Let's go three, two, one, come on. Good, push, 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 let's go. You got 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, three, two, one, rest. 15 seconds rest. Good job. All right, next exercise. Step it up. You can do the same one, all three. You can do three different ones. Two, one, let's go. Triceps for you. What feels great for your tricep? What really pushes it? Challenges you. Good job, come on. Good 
Four, three, two, one, rest. Good job, one last round of triceps. Yowchies. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna go back to dips, get a little burnout in here. Okay, if you want, throw a dumbbell on your hips for the dips. Ready, let's go, last round. Now if you're doing it with a dumbbell, you won't be able to keep your legs straight unless they are up on something. Here we go. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And oh, rest. You've got three rounds of 30 seconds of abs. What was the most challenging to you? Bicycles. We did Russian twists. We did jackknife flat crunch. We did the Superman side crunch. Okay, pick where you're at today. Here we go, in eight seconds. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Good. If you're doing any ab move where your low back needs to stay on the floor, make sure you're pulling your hips back, posterior rotation. 15. Two, one, rest. Good job. We've got Russian twists. You've got the Superman mermaid crunch. Leg raise, two leg jackknife and uh, flat crunch. Let's go together, come on. Three or pick your own and just work hard. Two, one, let's go. I'm with you. Round. I need you to give me everything you've got here. All right, step it up in whatever way you can. All right, ready? Two, one, let's go up. Come on, finish strong. You're 30 seconds from being done. cool down. Let's go ahead and go hands in front. Grab some water first if you need it. We're going to start with cross body arm swings. Great job. We've got a really good cool down here. Whew. All right. Open it up. Just kind of go gentle at first. You still got a lot of blood in your arms right now. Cool your breathing down. Good, two, one, left arm cross it over. There you go. Keep your chest straight, keep your hips straight. I'm very proud of you today. Someone asked a really good question on our, my live last night in the Sydney squad. We were live answering questions from the squad. Someone asked a really great question. How do I know if I'm going hard enough? Which I never thought about it because in my head, as a trainer, it's one of those things where you don't think to dial back. But, cross your arms over. I was explaining to her, you'll know if you've gone hard if at the end of the workout, you're breathing heavy, your arms in this case are burning, and in the last couple reps of every work period, it's a struggle, okay? Take your arm up overhead, pull. So if I gave you 45 seconds and I said, for instance, today to do alternating bicep curls, okay? And you got to 45 seconds and you were still just kind of like, 
All right, not bad. Those last couple reps should really be like, come on, Sydney, come on. Pull, that's you, switch arms, pushing yourself, okay? In the ab exercises, if you don't need to take a modification, you don't have to. If you need to take a modification, you have to, okay? We want you to stay injury free. That's the main goal here as an athlete of Team Royal Change. You're only useful to your goals and to your lifestyle if you are injury free. So we don't wanna push into something that is going to injure you, okay? And that's why the modifications are there. The last thing I want is for you to hurt yourself. Go ahead and switch directions. Good, come on down to the floor. We're gonna go into a press up, so drop down to your stomach. Okay, but I thought that was a really great question and I'm glad they asked it. And in the Sydney squad, we do this every single day. What questions do you have? How can I help you? Nutrition questions, workout questions. We stretch a lot live together. So if that is of any interest to you, the link is in the description every day to join the Sydney squad. So if you're thinking about it, it's on sale right now. I'd love to have you. I'd love to help you, most importantly, in any way that I can and surround you with a community who's using these workouts every day all over the world, all different eating types. Okay, tuck your toes down, lift your hips up. All different uh, access to food. Walk back into your toes nice and slow. There's no one size fits all nutrition program there. It's me teaching you about nutrition and doing what works for you is the only way that I can guarantee sustainability for you. So I'll teach you all about it. Serving sizes, macros, calories, I'll teach you how to track it. I'll give you a calculator to even estimate how you should get started to what goal you have specifically. And then the great part about it is you eat the foods that you have access to or that you know work for you or that you enjoy or that keep you full. It's your job after you know the numbers to fill those numbers in with what your preferences are. Keeping in mind, of course, that we want as high of a nutrient quality food as possible. So I'm sure you're not gonna eat pizza all day every day, but we'll give you the numbers. You get creative with your foods and you fill them with what you like. And I have sample meal plans to get you started. I have hundreds of recipes. The squad posts hundreds of recipes for simple things that you can cook, that you can switch out. So it's a really great program for beginner all the way up to advanced in nutrition and in fitness because it's surrounding you with community. It's surrounding you with ideas, with feedback, with, with question and answers, and the right equipment, the right tools to make this last for life. I'm not in it for a quick fix. I'm not in it for you to lose 10 pounds in 30 days and then you have no idea what else to do. I'm here to teach you for life. Okay, so I'd love to have you join me there. I'm very proud of you for today's work. I hope you felt in those last 30 seconds of each of your three rounds of freestyle moves or in the last 15 seconds of your 45 second work periods today, you were really fighting for those weights to move, okay? Really fighting to keep your core tight. That's where you know you've pushed yourself. And I know you have it in you, so don't just be consistent and show up here. Be consistent in being intense and working your hardest. Whatever that looks like every day, that's gonna be different, but the consistency in your best intensity, that's where results come, okay? I love you and I'm very proud of you. Make sure you comment below that you crushed it. Lock it in with a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I can see you back here tomorrow and I cannot wait. Very proud of you. Have a great day.